talking to Chris today on Couple Buy in LA, and he is talking to the guys. And Chris, you have a lot of tips. Where can we get more? Um, well, the website is themanregistry.com, and the website is uh, primarily focused around um, a wedding registry where guys can register for some of the barware, grill tools, and power tools. Uh, we also do groomsmen gifts. On the website, also blogs, checklists, tips, all the local resources you need to, to plan your, you know, your LA wedding or wherever you are. Um, the book kind of came from the website, um, so the book is an extension. It goes into a lot more detail. Uh, we've got our, all the way from, um, you know engagements to pop in the question all the way through the honeymoon so it's really everything you need to know as a guy right. uh, to, to get married <laughs> we should talk about that next how to pop the question because really how creative can guys be without any help how did you propose to your wife um, I kind of recreated an older date that we had had mm. um, so we're, we're I'm from the Midwest so we're very uh, country oriented and um, we had uh, one of our things that my wife and I had done in college was we would go on picnics mm -hmm. um, yeah, you know, very uh, romantic right. uh, thing to do. So, uh, and my wife had also had a, a red truck, a pickup truck in college, and we would, um, you know, kind of sit out in the back and play music and, you know, whatever. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> it's so refreshing to hear from a guy that's actually excited talking about his wedding and talking about preparing for the wedding, and it's it's actually contagious. And I hope sana po mahawa kayo sa excitement ni Chris ngayong hapon dito sa Kababayan LA. Earlier we gave tips to people, guys who want to propose to their girlfriends how to find a ring and all that mm -hmm. now let's talk about you know it's not just the proposal because after that the wedding planning comes next and that's where you you're saying that you guys can also get involved yeah is, is the pop in the question is just a start um, the traditional duties that a guy has you know everyone knows the rehearsal dinner the honeymoon the bride's wedding band the, his attire and the groomsman gifts uh, but the the line now is more blurred couples are getting married at older ages mm -hmm. So what you know, they're sharing more. They're spending more of their own money. It's not as much mom and dad anymore. Right. And you know, I, I don't know. I don't speak for every guy, but um, when something that I'm spending my money on, it's going. You know, I'm paying more attention. I'm, I'm getting more right. involved. So maybe you know, a guy 20 years ago wouldn't have cared as much about the flower <laughs> aspect of it, but now it's maybe some of his own money is going towards it, and uh, he's getting more. You know, more involved, cares a little bit more. So uh, the line is blurred. The groom and the bride duties are not you know strict as they once were. Right, and and, and so it's flexible. It depends on the couple. Right? Right, how you want to divide duties and all that. Yeah, you have to work as a team. Um, you know, there's there may be certain things she wants to do. Uh, you know, as far as the color scheme, the decor, and there may be you know things you want to focus on. I want to do the playlist for the reception. Uh, I want to plan a, a rehearsal dinner. You know, that's catered by my favorite barbecue company. Right. Um, you know, you have to you know draw you know draw up what you want to do, what she wants to do. You have to check in. You know, you're not going to plan everything on your own. Right, and this is very important. Uh, weekly date night to talk about progress because you know when you're con when you're constantly constantly talking about planning a, a wedding, it can be very stressful and it can be the cause of tension, right? Yeah. Well, I recommend two different kinds of, of date nights while you're doing. One is um, to check in about, you know, here's what I'm thinking about the wedding, um, you know, let's bounce some ideas back and forth. Uh, and the other is... Uh, a, a date night that has nothing to do with weddings. Because right. if you're, you know, if you're stressed out and stress is a, a completely normal aspect of planning a wedding, um, plan a movie night. You know, go out to the park, do, you know, go to the game or whatever. No wedding talk allowed. Right. And so it, it really keeps you balanced, and you know, you spend time together and re really remember why you're getting married in the first place. And talk about stress when planning a wedding. The biggest stress, obviously, is money. Yes. So budget, especially these days, people are still getting married, whether or not the economy is, you know, as is, or whether it improves, but. How do you save money in, during times like this? That's the uh, number one, you know, question we receive is, you know, I want to do this on a budget. Um, you know, kind of just some suggestions are, um, you know, uh, a DJ might be expensive. You can create your own playlist, and if you've got, um, you know, an iPod or an iPad, you can, you know, use that in, in place of a DJ. Um, you also do what's called uh, a mini moon. Uh, honeymoons are expensive. Mini moon. Mini moon. <laughs> so maybe, you know, you don't have the money. You spend it all on the wedding. You right. don't have extra money for the honeymoon right away we'll do a weekend you know two three day trip right after the wedding and then save save some money uh you know do it maybe a year later for your one year anniversary right. and do a real uh, all-out honeymoon oh um, good tips yeah. yes uh, and coming from a guy um bridezilla it is is it real yeah yeah you do see you know you ever everyone knows the tv shows that all about bridezilla and it 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 does tend, you know, it will happen, and that's not a negative thing. Um, you know, the, the bride, the Zilla makes it seem so outrageous, right. but, uh, you know, grooms get stressed out too. You know, there's groom Zillas. Groom -Zilla. um, it's okay. just, it's, you know, important to work through conflict, you know, keep each other balanced, and, and uh, you know, like I said, take the date nights, you know, get your right. mind off wedding planning. Tips for guys on, you know, what to do with their bridezillas. 
Yes, it's a uh, it's a sticky point, but uh, you know, do a do a date night, you know, do a. Uh, uh, you know, something to get your mind off the off the wedding. And tip for uh, tips for women of brides to be uh, on how to deal with their groomzillas. Boy, just it's, don't laugh at them. Don't uh, laugh don't at laugh. them. But um, <laughs> again, you know, uh, compromise. Okay. Um, you know, compromise is a big thing. And communicate. Communication, okay. compromise. If he's really into one idea, right. I mean, let him. Go let for him it, have you know? it. Yes. And read the book, read the website, yes. very informative. That's the website on the screen, and you may order the book from the website as well? Uh, yep, the link to purchase the book is on the website. Perfect. Thank so. you so much. Yes, More it was power fun. To Thanks, you. Janelle. Come back, and we'll talk about yeah, other we'll things do. for grooms and for guys. We will be back more in Cabo Bay in L.A. We are going to meet a couple that got to jam with Metallica. Very interesting and exciting. Don't go away.